Today on the channel, we throw it all the way back to the 80s with the brand new retro style Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Splinter, Krang, and Shredder. The Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles unboxing and review and today on the channel we've got the throwback retro wave Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splinter, Krang, and Shredder and I just make sure you hit up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items anything over $39 Man, it's got to ship free. That's just the way it goes these days. But today, we're taking a look at these retro turtle figures, which are really cool. Bring you back to a simpler time, of course. The turtle started in 1987 or so, and the toy line, of course, that went along with it. I, of course, had to jump in on the toy line as a little kid. You know, I was seven years old or so when the turtle toys came out, and I was very excited. But I didn't go as deep into the turtle lines as I did maybe Masters of the Universe, uh, Wrestling, some of the other toy lines out there. I had basically the heavy hitters, and that's where I called it quits uh, or my parents called it quits at the time is probably how it went more because I probably would have liked all of them I'm sure but of course we're gonna do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there and these three I had as a little kid and I gotta say the turtles line was an interesting one even as a kid because you wanted your toys to match up to the action figures, and a lot of them did not do that. Some were very close, but some were pretty far off. And I always felt the turtle line really didn't match up to what we saw in the animated. Uh, Shredder, for example, Splinter, for example, are good examples of that for sure. And I was always kind of disappointed even at a young age. But now, all these years later, I look at look back at these with a little bit of fondness. I'm sure a lot of people are that way. Gotta say, too, it would be really cool to keep these on card. It'd be awesome to have a wall of these on display. That is kind of uh, the selling point to these to me, as it's not no, so much the figure as it is the packaging, how cool the packaging is on these. But I am a mint on card collector at heart, but I gotta open these guys up because I just don't have room for these mint on card. So they're gonna be a loose collection, gonna have a turtle set. Uh, in a shelf here of all these old school retro Playmate throwback figures. Uh, but very, very cool packaging. Very cool all around. Very nostalgic. Look for these at your Target stores currently, like I did say. We're going to start off, and I guess we're going to start with Krang first. Krang in the package here, of course, very cool. Looks like a brain on wheels is what it looks like. Got all the extra accessories with him. Bright, bright green turtles. Beautiful packaging, as I mentioned on these. Absolutely do love them. On the back, we get all kinds of stuff. Old school, this is what it was like. You got a huge Huge file card with all kinds of stuff. I'll put that on the screen. I'm not going to read all that. Uh, you got the UPC. You got the two glamour shots there of all the other ones. The old checklist. You get your pen out. You cross off what you have. You give this backing card to your grandma and say, Grandma, here's the one I'm looking for. Uh, that's the way it was done back in the day. Cool little explanation at the top. Nickelodeon logo. And very interesting, these stickers at the very top. Uh, every figure I've seen has those on there. So I don't know if it's just uh, something they forgot to remove from the factory or what exactly. But very, very interesting. Portrait of a Krang. Click and collect. Or cut and collect, I guess. Clip and collect. Uh, but very cool. But you'll be able to read all that going on there. It does say 2022 Viacom. All that kind of stuff. So nobody's going to get this confused for an old school 80s one. Or at least they shouldn't. Uh, but without further ado, I'm going to get them out of the package. Very, very cool packaging, like I've said a few times. Uh, but it's off. It's off to the races. See you later. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison. There he is. He's locked in. We got a little bit of that hard uh, plastic uh, clip in here. I'm going to cut that out. There it is. That's it, I think. Pop these weapons out. And there it is. What do you know? We're getting him out of the package. See you later up high. Uh-oh, we're locked. How am I going to get this out? This is this is a mess here. We got this uh, clip in here. It is deep, deep into the toy. And it's wrapped around kind of the wheels on this one. So that's uh, frustrating, as you can imagine. Let's see if I can get this pulled out somehow. Very interesting here. Boy, we are locked in. I'm going to have to probably take this offline and get this out. There we go. Maybe, no, still, still locked in there. We got pieces falling out. Well, that's not good. I mean, I'm all for protecting the toys. 
Uh, but boy, they shouldn't be in there that tough, especially wrapped around there. So that is a bit frustrating, uh, to say the least. We're going to put Krang back in there. Uh, we're going to take a look at these weapons first, then we'll dive into Krang. This is just exactly how I remembered it as a child, uh, playing with these. You do get the two arms for Krang. They clip in on the side of his walker there. Very robotic-like, but you got two gripping hands. Uh, to grip things, of course, but it does look really, really good. Uh, just all a gray color. Some uh, extra color to this would have went a long way, but it was the 80s. They didn't need to do that kind of stuff. We do get his weapon here, and look at the bend on that plastic. I don't know if that... <laughs> look at that. So I might have to heat that up, get that back in place, as it definitely is totally bent and totally warped, but once again, matches the gray here. Uh, very interesting. Brain sucker, I guess, is what they called this thing. But it does look like a weapon with like a toilet plunger end on the end there. So that looks a little interesting as well. Then you get a little cord, little wire action you can put into Krang uh, as well, if you were so inclined to do, of course, down at the bottom there. So uh, a lot going on, and then this does connect, I believe. Yes, it does. So you put this on the bottom, and then he has his weapon of choice here. So everything can be stored. No extra accessories with Krang like we see with some of the other ones. Very, very cool. Then you get down to this one, and I could see a lot of kids not liking this at the time. Obviously, Krang being a main event player, but not a lot to this guy. Obviously, it is almost like a pack of accessories here. It's a brain just by himself, a little walker, and then some weapons. Uh, but always very cool, always very vibrant and bright. I love the purple and kind of the teal against the gray. Of course, the clear plastic dome. Uh, very, very cool walker. Of course, the Android Krang was another good toy back in the day. Uh, but this one, of course, was, I believe, the first one that came out. I think this came out before the Android body, if I'm not mistaken. But this does flip up. Of course, you can take Krang out of there. Very, very good, though. I do like this walking apparatus he has there. But then you get Krang, and he does have articulation on his arms. That is it. You do got a little hole in the bottom here. Can't really do a whole lot with him. Does look like a big brain, of course, one of the uh, gross ones uh, from the turtle line. And there was some gross characters out there, but a lot of people were like, whoa, what's this talking brain going on? Uh, it's a wild time back in those turtle days, a wild time now for sure. Bright yellow eyes on him, the tentacle arms, uh, looking really good. Just how I remembered it for sure, and I'm going to put him back in here. A very, very cool one, a very cool piece of nostalgia is what you got right here. But you do get the articulation on this walker, I forgot to mention. Very uh, at at walker esque but you get the kind of knee articulation back and forth. You get a big swivel up there kind of at the hips. Uh, that's all the articulation you really need, and that's all you're going to get. But very, very cool, very nostalgic for this Krang. I really like it. Of course, one of the major players in the bad guy department in the Turtle universe. Speaking of bad guys, how about Shredder up next? Possibly the most disappointing turtle figure for my childhood. Shredder was a bad dude, a ninja expert and stuff, and I would say this figure always came up a little short in that department. It just didn't really look like Shredder, didn't have the action ability of that I wanted out of Shredder. It was just pretty disappointing for a major villain like this to have such a disappointing figure. Uh, but there's Shredder there, same turtle logo. You got some Shredder artwork at the top through there. Of course, they do come with his weapons tree that we're used to with a lot of the turtle figures, especially of this time. On the back, you got the cross cell, same one we saw with Krang. We do get a big blurb, a big old file card. Everybody loves a file card, especially me. Uh, you can pause the video and watch that if you want. UPCs, warnings, all that kind of stuff there. But let's get him out. Let's get old Shredder, Master Shredder, out of the package here. Uh, maybe. There it is. There we go. There it is. Whoa, we're flying around. See you later. Frisbee style. Frisbee style. There it goes. See you later. And we get the old plastic prison. We get the old twist tie on him. Oh, my gosh. Bounce, bouncing around, slipping around. What are we doing? There's old Shredder right there. I'm going to have to cut him out. And can I get this cut better than Krang? Krang was a little frustrating, as we saw. Hopefully, Shredder isn't as frustrating. Pop that out there. Pop out Shredder. Oh, we're getting there. See you later. Goodbye. And we're off to the races. So we do get the weapons tree. Uh, very iconic from the Turtles. I was never a big fan of this. I don't know why they did this. Obviously, it was probably cheaper to do it this way. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but it is a little bit of a stand. You put the weapons on here like so. You do get two throwing stars. Uh, you get, uh, I don't even know what these weapons are called. You do get a sword. The other ones, not even sure the official name on these. Never going to remember them. But uh, some iconic weapons from back in the day, if you remember your turtle history. 
To me, the sword was the only one I really used as a kid. But we do get this. All in brown, no extra colors, nothing like that. It is what it is. And of course, the Super 7 Ultimates are based on these figures. And a lot of them have the actual weapon tree. Uh, I think they've gotten away from that since. But the original Turtles came with that, things like that. And that is a really cool line because it is based off the action figures. But So you get a Shredder based off this. But they give it the way it probably should have been as a kid in the 80s. Uh, so that is something really cool about it. But let's break down the shredder, which I always thought was just so strange. Uh, you do get articulation there, right? Kind of at the forearm, at the elbow, side to side, but no up and down, which was frustrating. Uh, same thing on this one, I believe. Yes, you get that side to side. But you didn't get the elbow articulation, which really limited this one. And then when you get to the, to the head on this shredder, you get the side to side. Uh, and no up and down, just side to side. But the shredder head, very strange with the big kind of... Cro-Magnum man uh, eyebrows there, big there, the mask going on, the helmet. It looked enough like Shredder, but just didn't feel like Shredder at all to me as a kid. And still to this day, it does not feel like Shredder. You don't get knee articulations, but you get a little bit of a wide stance, a little side to side on the legs. A weird stance to him on the arms, a weird stance to him on the legs, a weird looking head. Possibly the most disappointing Ninja Turtle figure of the entire line. As Shredder was such a main character, and you want the bad guy, the main bad guy character to really have playability, things like that. We didn't get that from Playmates back in the day. Very interesting with this one as well. You get one big hole in the foot. The other one does not have it. That is a huge peg hole. There is no stand I own that that would work for. Uh, but very, very interesting one after all these years. And it just kind of reminds me back to the disappointment of getting this as a child. Just kind of grit your teeth and like, Ugh. you know, it's like, I, maybe I should have got something else. I really don't like this one as much as I want to like it. Still feels that way. But when you're displaying them on a shelf, you're building out your little Playmates Turtle universe. You have to have him. You have to have Krang. Uh, that's the way it goes. But from one disappointment to another as a child, Splinter. Splinter also had kind of that same problem. Didn't kind of measure up to what I wanted him to be in my mind. Uh, and that's with Shredder. So Shredder and Splinter both a bit disappointing as a kid. But you'd still play with them. You'd still use them. It's just you always thought, even as a little 7 or 8 year old kid, whatever he may have been at the time, that they could have improved this a little bit more. Maybe that was me. I don't know. But that's how I always felt and still feel that way. Same style of packaging. It gets the weapon tree. Little side profile shot of Splinter just like back in the old days. Beautiful robe on Splinter looking really good. On the back, of course, got the big cross cell we're used to. You got the file card down below, the jibber jabber in the UPC, and then some artwork at the top. Very, very cool packaging as usual in these sets. Splinter, weapon of choice, the old ninja bow. Oh, yes, a ninja bow. Everybody loves a ninja bow. A little shredder there. Or splinter, see you later. See you later up high. Oh, off the screen, ready to go. And then you get a little plastic prison. We're going to have to cut him out as well. He is locked in. Oh my gosh, they really got these crazy twist ties in here. They made them very, very close, which isn't ideal, but we did get that one. Pop that out. There it is. Can I get this one around his waist? There it is. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. There it is. Black's Prison. See you later. Scissors off the side, and we got Master Splinter out of the package. So he does get a weapon tree as well. As well. He's got some throwing stars. Uh, he does have his uh, staff, uh, staff, cane, whatever you want to call it, but it does have a dagger in it. And then, of course, you do get the other side of the dagger. You put this in there, it goes together. Uh, so you can pull that out and have a weapon, or you can use it as a cane. Very functional, uh, very good. So we do get the weapons tree with uh, Master Splinter, and then, of course, you do get his bow and arrow. Uh, no playability with this bow and arrow. Nope, it's just a bow and arrow here. No real playability with this bow and arrow. It's just more more show than go, I guess we'd call it. But a very wooden-like. I uh, got that kind of orange plastic going on. Just kind of plain Jane. That's what it is. And that's kind of how the figure is as well. Very iconic, very disappointing, though, to children playing this, trying to recreate uh, their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cartoon. He does look like a big rat, and that's what Splinter was. Uh, he does look good in the head. He's got the eye going on. Uh, both eyes, of course. He's got little eyelashes even. And then he almost doesn't look like a rat to me. He almost looks like a, a beaver. I mean, especially with those big teeth out there. He almost looks like a beaver or a ground chuck or something. But I guess you got to just pretend it is a rat. But he does look okay. He's got a nice soft goods robe going on. He does have a belt there. He does got articulation in his tail. I don't remember that, but it's been a long time since I've handled the old toy. But we do get articulation in the tail. He's got some paint down there on the legs. 
Uh, you get the legs up and down. Once again, he's got big holes in his feet for peg holes, just like we saw with Shredder. Just not the best peg holes from any stand that I have to be able to use with that. Uh, but you do get side to side at the head. Like I said, waist articulation is not there. So not a lot to this. Uh, very, very interesting, this splinter figure after all these years. You do get the forearm articulation, which is another strange one. We also saw that with Shredder. So like I said, not the best toys, especially as a kid playing. And they always kind of left something to be desired. But you love the Turtle cartoon so much. You wanted toy representation as a kid. So you got what you got. And you knew that was your only chance at it. It's amazing in the world we live in here in 2023 when you got so many other Turtle lines with such great action figures. But there's something special. There's something uh, simple about these old Playmate style ones. And maybe they're not the best figures ever, but they definitely hold a lot of nostalgia for all a lot of collectors, a lot of people that grew up with the Ninja Turtles. So they do have a special place. May not be the best bells and whistles of any figures we've ever seen, but definitely hold a special place in a lot of hearts, that's for sure. And I'm going to put them all together in a shelf together, have all the kind of Playmates representation. And I love that we got these repaints at a much cheaper cost than the OG classic ones that cost an arm and a leg in some instances. Hard to track down on some pieces and things like that. So this is really fun and very nostalgic uh, is probably the word of this video here. But let's say you guys out there in YouTube land, you picking these three up, you playing the long game, you passing, let me know on uh, the comments down below your thoughts on the Playmates Ninja Turtles. And of course, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. Don't forget about the Patreon channel. All kinds of bonus content, including early content over there. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProSATs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget about social media. SirPaul64 on Twitter is where you'll find me. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Krang, Shredder, and Splinter, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.